jeg heter Monika og jeg er fra Norge og du ser på Bella Egypt. Hey there, I'm Michelle, I'm from London and you are watching Bella Egypt. Hello and welcome to another episode of Bella Egypt. No sun here today, just a lot of lights. Um, coming up in the next half hour, we're back with Chef Yusuf again. And this time he's making a Chinese uh, fried rice. And the funny thing about it, do you, I don't know if you remember, long time ago in Sharm el Sheikh, we got together, I believe she was a Thai lady called Layla and they had a Tapinyaku restaurant and she made the rice and the egg and she wrote, do you remember she wrote bye-bye uh, um, with the salt? This is the first time for five years that we've gone a little bit Chinesey. And then after that, something very unusual. Um, you've heard of paintball, right? Where they have different team and they have paint in the guns and they have to get each other. Well, today we're going to a color festival where they have a lot of different teams, um, full of paint all over their faces. I'm not quite sure of the idea. Besides getting buckets of paint and, excuse me, and spraying everybody. It looked a lot of fun, not my kind of thing, but it looked a lot of fun. And that's coming up in the next half hour. So thanks for tuning in to Now TV International. It's time for Bella Cuisine. This is Bella Cuisine coming at you from the north coast. We had better hurry here, the sun's going down, chef. Nice okay? to meet you again, yeah, good. We good. had a problem in the back there. Uh, the, this go this way, this go this way, this go this way, this go this way. In the end, they just put them somewhere else. Um, yes. Before we start today, chef, Yes. I was thinking, um, You've lived in Egypt a long time. Uh, you've yes. worked in Cairo, in Charm. You've worked outside. Yes. In Switzerland, you were, of course, near in the center of Europe. Yes. For you, for foreigners, what would be your favorite place to visit in Egypt? Sharm el Sheikh. Sharm el Sheikh. Yes. <laughs> My home. Okay, Sharm. But for your, what, what are, what are your reasons? We all have different reasons. Why would you recommend Sharm? I recommend the Sharm for I living there 28 years uh -huh. and really, really it's a very good area, good city. Uh -huh. The people is good, many hotels, many tourism from everywhere. Right. Germany, Italian, Russian, Ukraine, everywhere, from everywhere. And, and say that if you want somewhere more quiet, the hub is 45 minutes away, Nueva, Taba. Yes. If you yes. want the desert, Yes. You can go to a disco in the desert. You can go on a camel ride. You can go see the stars. We, we, ha we have a lot of parties inside the even mountain. Even they have yeah. a movie theater. <laughs> yes. Even a movie theater inside. Yes. If you don't want that, you can get on a boat and go for a safari for seven days. Or you can snorkel. You yes. can go to Nama. You, you can go do to everything. Old Market. You, you can, can do everything. You can go see the mangroves. Oh, these yeah. flies. Y yes. Go away. <laughs> All right. Now, at least we have something great in common beside the love of food. The, the meal today, Chef, is? To, today we have the Chinese fried rice. Chinese fried, fried rice. rice. And we, I haven't actually done this on the show for maybe 10 years. Yes. When I did it with a chef in a Japanese restaurant. Yes. Okay, Chef, take us through. Please. Yeah. Just you can do it. We have leeks. We have green peas. Okay, we have peas. onion. We have carrot. We have yeah, zucchini, cut onions and carrots, all, cut and, julian, and, uh, zucchini. and also we make omelette and then okay. we cut julian like that. Okay, <clears throat> everything julian cut, fine thin slices, yes. all right? Normally everybody you know what you will do with the white rice. We if make normally white rice. you what to do with rice, yes. shame on you. White rice, white rice. okay. First we can bring the bands, we put sesame oil, 
Okay. Okay. Sesame, I love See, sesame. Yeah, oil. with a little bit of garlic. You little cook, bit. You're cooking with the sesame oil. Yes. Because okay? usually yes. I put it on the salad. Okay. No, no, no. We cooked with sesame oil. Okay. Sesame oil with a little bit of garlic. Yes. And all then right. we put all the vegetables. You can put the green peas. Okay. You can put the onion, carrot, and zucchini and legs. Now. We take all the sauté inside the pan with sesame oil. Now, when you put the sesame oil, there should be a lot on there or just enough to cover. How much? No, it depends on how many portions will eat, ah, okay. you know, okay. depends, you know, the, the quantity depends on the portion. But they shouldn't be soaking in there, you're not deep yes. frying them, right? Yes. You're sautéing. Yeah, sauté, very okay. good sauté. And then, right. and then we put the soya sauce. Ah. Soya sauce you can buy from... Light any, or dark? No, light. Light. Light will what be good. What do you use dark for? A dark we can use for another ah. meals. You can make with the chicken, you can make with the fish, you know. Be very careful. Dark is on there. It yeah. is so strong. Yes. That for me personally, I like it on steak. But it's so strong. Once you put it, you've ruined the meal. Finished. Yes. You cannot no. go back. Exactly. Yes, yes. Okay, and then, so a bit of soy sauce. So, and light. then soy sauce. And then we we'll put the white rice. We we'll make a little bit in a pan. Very okay. good. Like that. Yes, yes. Okay. And then just you can bring the blades. In your blade, you can boot it. And then just we cut the omelette, julienne, and ah. we put it as a decoration like that. And the a very easy blade, very easy blade, can take five minutes. So easy. Yes. Remember something, okay, if you're going to make your, if I'm making this for my son. Yes. Which he would love. Of course, I've got to make the rice before. Yes. Then you've got to get there and cut this stuff up ready for it. Because his Royal Highness will be watching a video or playing on my phone. Yes. So once all this is cut, the actual preparation is nothing. It's nothing. It's because nothing. Because if the rice is still Believe me, five, in the Believe me, five minutes, the blade will be finished. Ah. And then another five minutes, of yes, course, of yes. course, my son would say, Papi, I the ketchup, yeah, Papi. Of course, you have to have a little ketchup on the side for them to finish. Yes. No, no, this is actually very, very tasty as and well. And then you, could, you can, can make imagine. a good presentation, ah. you know, good presentation. And, and I can looks imagine and then you can eat. You can yes. do exactly the same things with noodles. Yeah, we can make with noodles the same. Because my son loves egg it. noodles. Rice noodles. We can make the same. Ah, and at yes. the end, instead of putting the rice, you put the noodle, yeah. same mix, exactly. and it's finished on there. And then you can call bami goreng, nasi goreng, uh, and these uh, dishes is good I, one. I, I, I have to get on the internet yes. to remember how to make these for my son. Yes. Remember guys, after you watch the show uh, today, all of these will be posted up on YouTube, okay? So it's like you can go on there and see it slowly to be able to remember. And if there's something you want to ask uh, the chef you just write to us and we'll forward the email on it okay, okay. from us to you okay Ready. thank you very thank much thank you very much thank Mr. you yusuf chef yusuf executive <laughs> chef here for this huge you i couldn't do your job yeah it will give me I will, too much of a headache that's why you don't sleep oh too many things going on <laughs> thank you very right, much back to bella egypt thank you very much thank you bye bye you. And by the way, a tip for the holiday. I noticed that a lot of parents out here, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm losing control here. A lot of parents, I see them on the beach and they're like, uh, you know, if you're gonna go and your kids are playing, get yourself a good book, get yourself, and, and now the phones have such big capacity, 64 gigas. Get some music you can chill out instead of just uh, sitting there watching, you know, it just, I think it just makes your holiday a lot richer. Just my opinion. All right, this is very unusual. The first time ever on Bella Egitto, we have a Cala Festival. Have some fun.
we have with us, what's your name, buddy? It's Saleh. Saleh? Yeah. That's not the name they just gave me. <laughs> Maybe after... It's Saleh now. Uh, okay. And you are from? From Saudi Arabia. I think the people watching are going to wonder, is this how, uh, is this like a new uh, spray-on t-shirt or what happened? No, we actually had a competition and we were just spraying each other and playing around with cutters and having fun. Actually, I saw it, but they, they didn't know. Competition, but how does someone win or the idea is just to have fun? Uh, it just, the competition is uh, how much you are going to spray people more. Like the one who spray more, win. It just like... Hello, how are you? Hello. Sabal ke. All right. And everybody's uh, uh, a winner. Everybody's, everybody's a winner. winner. No, no, sorry. It looked a lot of fun. I just didn't want to get involved. Tell me, uh, how, how long are you here from, from Saudi? Uh, for a week. First time here? Yeah, it's my first time. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's really good. I'm, go I'm going to do it again. Uh, do you work or do you study? Well, what is it you do back home? Yeah, actually, I study at home. Uh -huh. and, uh, what are you studying? I study uh, I, medicine. Medicine? Yeah. Ah. My back, Doc. You're gonna. Uh, I gotta stay in touch with the doctor just for the future. So you're here for one week, uh, yourself or with the family or with the boys or uh, with the family. family. Yeah, and we have a lot of boys though. Huh? Yeah. Tell me right, right, right now, with the state of what's going on in the world, do people feel safe coming here on holiday? Yeah, really safe. Yeah. And nothing happening here. Just fun. Just, just fun and and oh, and, 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 and uh, <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Good luck. And and have a great holiday. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. We got a local boy. What's your name? My name is Ahmed Adi. And you are from? I am from Alex. Uh, so, Ahmed, um, you are staying here in the north coast or you come uh, for the day? I am come to stay uh, some days uh, with my friend. This, uh, we play swimming, uh, stay a uh, good time uh, in this good weather and uh, this beautiful uh, skin. Uh, tell me, is it more nice here than uh, you? We have 100 kilometers from Alexandria, right? Uh, I am come uh, this distance uh, to stay good time uh, and play. Uh, that's very good. Uh, that's a good time uh, I stay. Uh, you came with your friends or your family? I am I came with my friends or my family, and now I came with uh, my friends. My friends. Okay, buddy, we'll have a lovely time here in the North Coast. Thank you for talking. Thank you. Thank you. Bella Egypt NTV at gmail.com, Facebook, Bella Egypt on Now TV. <laughs> this time, what do we had in the show? We've had people from Saudi, from Alex, and now we have two ladies from Cairo. Is Alia and Habiba. Now, I've got to ask you something. Did you have to go to modeling school to get uh, makeup done like this? <laughs> no. no. Here. Oh, I was going to ask for your money back, you know, in case you went. Yeah. No, it's uh, just a color fight. I, I saw it, yeah. So, guys, uh, how long have you been here from Cairo? Um, about three days. About three days? Uh, we can't say the name of the place, but uh, uh, you come here every year? You have a place here, or you just came on holidays? No, we came on holidays. Uh, do you mind me asking how old you are? Are we allowed to ask your age? It's okay, I'm 14. 14? Yeah, I'm 16. 16. 
So what what do 14 and 16 year olds do here on vacation? Um, in the mornings we just swim or make the games here are nice and so jet, jet skis, but uh, whatever. Um, well, it, at, at the evening, but we go to the cafes and so, and we dance by Alofi and. You, they, they, you can dance here. Yeah, yeah with the, with the animation team. Oh. <laughs> and okay, and what time do you stay up to? Because sometimes you go to sleep and we hear music go until mama. Um, I often stay up to like at uh, till 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Sometimes I get up at 3 a.m. <laughs> You go to sleep at three? Yeah, and then I wake wow. up like at noon and start the day. That's Tough life. <laughs> How long are you gonna stay here for? We're going to stay till uh, after tomorrow. Okay, uh, we all know what's going on in the world. To co coming out here on holiday, is there any safety issues? You feel safe? You feel any? So safe here, Egypt. Lately, is so safe. So yani. Yeah, <laughs> We want all uh, tourists to come. It's yeah, it's okay here and it's safe and so and the weather fun. is so good, and oh, so much safe. fun. Oh. Yeah. Um, where else? Where else you end up going on holidays? Because I'm from Sham. I live 20 years in Sham, but it's a little bit hot to go down there. So it's always here you go, or do you ever head down to the Sinai? Uh, yeah. Have you been to Sham? Sinai is yeah. So nice. Like it so much. Yeah, I I love uh, I love Sinai. Can you snorkel? Yeah, and I've been okay. diving. Yeah. Where, in Charm or Dahab? Yes, Charm. In Charm, and yourself? Yeah. yeah. Everyone puts me to shame. Okay. One time I went, that's enough, you know, it's just <laughs> in the water. Listen, guys, have a lovely holiday, lovely talking to you, and uh, just got to work out about the makeup here. Is, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm going to ask your opinion first. How do you look? Look, okay. They say you look good. Uh, your name is? Iman. How are you? Good. Fine, thank you. And uh, you are from Spain, right? <laughs> we're, in Cos we're in Costa del... Uh, what did we decide? Uh, Madrid. How about Madrid? Madrid. Madrid doesn't have a C, does it? Barcelona. Barcelona. Bas Barcelona. Messi. Messi. Yeah. Barcelona. Um, so where, where are you from in Cairo? Uh, I'm from Maidi. From Maidi? Yes, I live there and I teach there. That's my profession. I'm a teacher. And what grade? Uh, KG2. KG2. Little ones. I taught both KG1 and 2. But You I have a lot of patience. Yeah. Yeah, you I need a. I so. Yeah, because those little ones. Well, it's a special technique, obviously, yes, to, for yes. teaching little ones. Yes, yes. There are techniques, not uh, only one. When, when you. I love it. I love it when you are the one in charge to put the bases for everything. Ah. It makes a difference. And but you need training. I, I, mean, I have sat in on grade one, grade two classes, and it was a disaster just because I have no training in what these guys. They, I expect them to know it already. Man, I, I am. I'm a mother. You're I can do. That. I'm a father. <laughs> what's the mother got to do with it? What's the? Uh, pff, well, let's get into it. Okay, you ready? I'll, well, no, we won't get into it today. We've, okay. we've another show. Okay, uh, you have a place here, or you come visit each year? No, I rented the place here oh. for the family. You have how many kids? For five days. I have two kids. The elder one is 21 years old. The younger one is 14 years old. 14 and 20. That's funny. Mine. Mine are 14 and 19. A boy or girl? We'll get them together. A boy and a girl. Boy, no, I got two girls. That won't work very much. Okay, for. Uh, we were talking to some younger, uh, younger kids earlier here. Uh, what is, is the fact that it's so safe, close community, they can do what you want, what they want. Um, is that what makes this place so attractive for families? Of course, safety. We are all looking for safety, um, whatever we go. So, so, what, so what, when they're often doing their things, is that one of the few times that you can actually just relax and do your own thing? I'm not that kind of people who relaxes. 
I, I'm always behind my... Oh, that's right. You're a KG2 <laughs> teacher. They're more wired, yeah. wallahi, more wired than the children. Really. I think the children have to keep up with them. Even if they are 21 and are 14. Are you sinking? Are you sinking? No. I'm sinking into... I'm fine. Oh, I'm okay. fine. Okay. But I have to be backing them up all the time. I have to look for them all the time. If I don't see them, I'm with them on the phone. That's, that's me. I'm sorry. Even if the place is safe. You know what? I think that's just a, a nature of a human being. Because with my uh, wife, she can just let our little five-year-old go. With me, I have, I'm there. I think it's just a nature thing. Yes, and I have to make them feel that I'm there. Ah. They have to feel that I'm there all the time. Even if on the phone. No, I'm the, I'm the same. I'm the same. And when someone lets it go, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I don't know how they can handle it. Beside here, for those that may be watching from, a, from a, a abroad, what other places in Cairo would you recommend going beside here? In Cairo or in Egypt? Oh, sorry, in Egypt, in Egypt. In Egypt. I love the Red Sea. I love the Red Sea. Horgada and the new places over there like Sahel Hashish and Marsa Alam. Oh, we were just there. I've, uh, I've never been there uh, till now, but I'm planning next holiday, next summer. I'll be there, inshallah. Sharm al-Sheikh, Alain Sokhna, I love the Red Sea. Yeah. We really enjoyed the, the holidays and it was great. Sharm al-Sheikh is really a quiet place and people here, here are very kind and uh, they give other people feelings, I mean uh, residents, they give uh, all tourists feeling that everything is good and uh, please enjoy your vacation here. I would say you definitely have to come to Egypt because it's a beautiful place, very nice people, very welcoming and uh, it's a place to go because it's a short distance, uh, sun uh, any time of the year, perfect. I have many messages since I've been coming out here, is Sham safe? And I always say, is Sham is safer than anywhere in the world I've ever been to. And safer than the UK, and I've been to South Africa. And I feel safe in Sham, very, very safe. And the Egyptian people always make me feel welcome. So, and they're very polite. I cannot say one bad word about Sharm or Sheikh or Egypt, because I love it. And I'm gonna live here until I die. My name is Anne and you are watching Bella Egypt. Go to the beach, you could at night go to the any cafe, there's shows there you could like play there's people to know and the like, animation animation here like good they are they could dance and play so much fun here. I guess it's quite a safe environment because it's all locked, so I guess your family feels safe to let you just run around. Yes. Here comes your address, Bella Egypt, NTV at gmail.com. Bella Egypt on Nile TV for the Facebook. As I tell you every single week, share the link with people. Why? If you share the, uh, the page, then they go on and watch the show online on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, put a like. If you have something to say, just write to us. Or if you have something to do about the holiday or, or you want a special meal, you want the chef uh, to make for you anything your mind can think of or if you just want to write and say hey ash how you doing it's okay anything else guys that's it um we're going to be checking out tomorrow from all the crew here thank you so much for choosing now tv international 
and from the crew in Cairo, thank you very much for making us look good. You all take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.